Welcome to this next video that shows you how to create your room perimeter. So here I am where I left off from the last video. I should point out this green area. This represents the ground. If I orbit around, I can see the horizon, kind of the looking off into the distance. That's the horizon line. And then the blue represents the sky. And I can actually rotate around however I want in this environment. For this first part, we're going to just draw the perimeter using the green and the red axis. Google SketchUp very much relies on the camera views. These are all camera views when, when we talk about looking around. So because I only want to work with the green and the red axis, I'm going to go up to camera and choose standard views and I just want a top down look. The shortcut for this is command one and this is a good one to know as well if you're moving around and you just want to set yourself back to look looking down on what you're building, you can always press command one. So there's command one that I pressed. Now I'm just looking straight down on the green and the red axis. This little line here, if I move around a little bit, you'll see that's just the, kind of looks like a cardboard cutout of the character that they have standing there. We're not gonna use him right now. So I'm gonna pan around using the hand tool. I'm gonna pan around, get to the green and the red area. I'm gonna use the pencil tool to start drawing my, uh, my perimeter. So I'm gonna click and start drawing with my pencil and move around and create this line parallel to the red axis. Now, the lines don't have to be exact. You'll notice in the bottom right, you have the measurements changing as you change the length of your line. So let's say that this first line is supposed to be about 40 feet. I'm gonna just draw to, to wherever and click to set my second plot point. And now I'm gonna type 40 and an apostrophe and hit the return key, and that will automatically make the line 40 feet long. So the apostrophe, when you put the apostrophe after the measurement you type, that represents feet. So I'm gonna click the pencil. I'm gonna choose the end of my line here and start drawing up. And let's say that this is supposed to be maybe 27 feet. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that line, 27 apostrophe, return, and it draws right up to there. Now I did mention earlier about how if you ever wanna get back to the arrow, you can just hit the space bar. The pencil tool stays on while you're clicked on it. A quick jump back to the arrow would just be the space bar. I'm going to finish off here. Let's say that this was going to be, oh, I don't remember what this was. I think it was like 23 feet, 2, 3 apostrophe. Your measurements might be different. And then in the last one I'm going to draw is the actual diagonal of the room. It's good to draw the diagonal last so that you're not uh, trying to guess at which angle the diagonal should be at. So that's how you draw your perimeter. And thanks for watching this, and you can move on to the next video.